Hey everyone, welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. I think in this episode we're gonna be continuing in this area. I could go back and try to kill the Headless. I think we might have to use the Mortal Blade. Ah, it's the Moron Blade. Keep calling it the wrong name. Hello? What the fuck? Uh, oh shit. Where the hell? Oh, he's like... Wow, he blends into the background well. I don't think so. So, as I said, I could go and try to take down the Headless. However, I don't feel like... Pissing myself off, like, a minute into the episode. So, let's not do that. We'll continue in this place. This looks like a fairly unique area. Okay, lots of platforming. This is cool. You know why they said that Sekiro was gonna have some type of platforming? This is kind of what I was uh, looking for, you know. Because FromSoft has shown that they can make great vertical levels. I think the Shulva area of Dark Souls 2 is like a prime example of that. But, you know, of course, with the kind of clunky controls of Souls, that wouldn't have worked. Or like, a lot of those areas are annoying. So yeah, that doesn't happen here. Cool. I don't know, man. I keep thinking about this headless thing. Unless he's completely optional, which... Honestly, I wouldn't be too pissed off about. Shit. I almost got the backstab. Okay, there's a lot of these guys here. A shotgun! Whoa. It's straight up shoddy. There's no way they had guns this advanced. Although... Who am I to say? Dodge roll. These guys are out here playing Bloodborne. <laughs> That's so cool. I love that. That's such a cool enemy. Like a little. Did I just run through his shotgun? I think I might have. Or he's the most accurate idiot, inaccurate idiot in this army. Alright, another checkpoint. That can't have been it, can it? Like, that seemed very. Those two checkpoints were so close to each other. Although this game does. Uh, checkpoints fairly frequently, so who am I to... Oh, hello. Little potato, but a friendly one. The gum fort. Once again, standing uncomfortably close to these NPCs. The Sempo Temple Bell. Okay. That's interesting. Is he dead? He's dead. At least give me your money. The k k k k k k cash. Are you kidding me? That's where we're supposed to go? That's cool. Somewhere we can swing as well. Fuck. <laughs> Let's just see what that does. Are you kidding? It just... <laughs> I just flung myself off. Okay, let's not see where that leads. That was... A fairly stupid mo move by the boy. Ah, oh, this is a cool... What? Snake Eyes... Shirafuji. There's a boss version of it. Oh, that's a grab. Holy shit. Okay, that's cool. Whoa. Damn it. I thought I... I thought I managed to dodge. I'm dead. 
Yeah, we will do a resurrect. What the? Hmm. I might have to dodge, not backwards, through that grab. Alright, I didn't expect a boss. Mini boss, maybe. So what I might do is I'll clear out her and then go back to the... Whatever he's... Oh, you're still alive. Oh, okay. You just die over and over again. Sorry about that. You pretty much I'm causing that. This area is cool. I like it. Alright, Snake Eyes, Shira, Fuji. Oh. <laughs> okay, you can dodge through that. Damn it. Wrong time to heal. This is a very, like, claustrophobic arena. Okay. She has attack patterns. Heal one more. That she misses though sometimes. I don't want to go too far out because... Her little NPC friends might be with NPC friends. Little buddies might be... I, I can't block her. I mean, deflect her. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Unless I've started to suck at deflecting. Which I don't know. There's no way you can get a critical on her, can you? Absolutely no way. Yeah, okay. I gotta, like, not dodge after she does that. Okay. Maybe I should just go super aggressive. That has always worked in this game before. Oh yeah. Maybe that's the key to all this. I always forget it, you know. Okay, double... Double Ichimonji. Let's get her out of there because... She has terrible aim. Be careful of that. I'm assuming that doesn't increase her posture bar. Shit. I'm dead. It's all good. It's all good. We can res. We can res. Just do it quickly because... Shit is running out. Okay, I'm gonna heal. Okay, she's dead. Nice. Prayer bead. Yes. More. H and P. Very much appreciated. Alright, okay, I will give it up. That did not end up becoming as bad as I thought it would be. I was kind of worried at the start. Not gonna lie. So, yeah, where do we go from here? Oh, she had like a little cooking place. It's a giant Buddha statue. Okay, here we go. My instinct might be telling me to go back and rest, but they always put one after in this game. Usually they're pretty good with that. 
Oh shit. Are you kidding? I'm getting blasted. Tricky. Putting a hole there. No, 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 not there. I fell, I fell off like an idiot. Alright, it's all good. The key here is not to die. Because... Well, technically, if I do die... We won't, we won't have to do the boss again. Where the hell are all these guys? Like, they blend in very well to their environment. I will give it up. There you are. Idiot. Okay, there's another one. Yep. Bringing a gun to a knife fight? I don't think so. Badass. What the hell? Did I step on something? I should have backstabbed him. Whatever. Before I get no... What is this? It's like a... Vo <laughs> it's like a... Alert the enemy's trap. That's pretty cool. I'll give it up. I'll give it up. That's nice. These guys are... Fairly smart. Let's monkey swing across. Okay. Uh, there we go. Like, get the hell up there. It's not good to do this while being locked onto the enemy. Oh shit, two of them. Keep timing these wrong. Okay, these guys might be a problem here. Oh man, I'm getting double pumped. And I'm out of healing items. Hmm, <laughs> okay. Here's the tactic. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, uh... I don't think so. Cool. Look at these escapes. Oh, is that the same? Yeah, these are the same dudes. Why am I not running? Someone tell me. Why am I being stupid? Don't ask me. It's making hella noise too. Okay. I'll pick up that treasure. And then we can go. I'm a sucker for treasure, you know. Uh, last communed, I think. Last communed. We'll pop back and then probably return to this area. Although, man, the, the thing about that boss is that leaving a boss like that or a mini boss, whatever he is, you know, it's bugging me. Like, it's always in the back of my mind. Like, hey, you left him. Oh, man. Let me have a look at this. Uh... Equipment here. How do you... What was it? L1, R1 and R2? I gotta look at the mortal blade. Where is this moron blade? Oh, it's like a... a what's it called? There it is. Hold on. Is it an ability? I don't think so. I saw it somewhere, I swear. That you can draw the mortal blade. Uh, 
God damn it. Moral draw. There it is. Moron draw. L1 plus R1, R1. You gotta have it like equipped or some shit. It's a com. Yeah, it's a combat art. That's the problem. Holy shit. All right. Three per use. It doesn't deal as much damage as I thought it would. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. But hey. Maybe it does super well against them dudes. Which What is it called? It's the Underbridge Valley. That's the closest one, I think. Yeah. If not, I have no idea. Maybe I gotta use this tactic that I just used. Just like be really, really aggressive. And then pop also uh, whatever against the terror. I know that you can buy that item. I've seen it before. I just didn't know what it was going to be used for. Yeah, just never mind me. Yeah, I'm going to buff myself the hell up. Cool. Oh wait, this is not the fastest way, is it? Going through the door, yeah. Oh well, next time. Because, you know, I have a feeling there will be a next time. If I get this dude first try, I didn't increase my HP. I'm stupid. Whatever. That's so cool. <laughs> Practically useless, but hey. Sometimes being a ninja and shit is all about being cool. Alright, we got Moron Draw. Uh, all this good shit. Let's see. We need... Pacifying Agent. Oh, I have 12 in storage. Alright. We're gonna pop that. We're also going to pop... Why not? An Akko Sugar. Do a little dance. And Moron Draw. It don't do shit. He's taking no damage. And this is with the fucking... Damn it. Why does it teleport? Oh, I thought I was... He takes no damage. There's something here that I'm missing. Uh... It's not the mortal blade. I really thought it was, because, like, killing undead things, that's... It's what it specializes in. Doesn't it? Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> I am puzzled, let me tell you that. Am I, like, missing something here? Like, is there some item... You gotta throw at him, or... Made for driving... Could it be this? Confetti imbued with divine blessing made for driving away apparitions. The paper is made ceremoniously. I never, like, used this. I don't even know what this is. Bless one who basks in his touch, allowing attacks to connect with apparition. Could very well be. Eh? I got unseen aid. Thanks for that. Bruh. Alright, let's try this again. With divine confetti. It's like a weapon buff, isn't it? I kind of figured it out, but I never used it because I always thought, you know, save it for like a tough boss. I guess, I guess this is the time. This is a tough boss. It went the wrong way again. It's all good. Although this doesn't take too long. Okay, same tactic. Because 
the damage I dealt there is the most damage I've ever done to that thing with the Arc of Sugar and the Terror Resistance. I mean, it certainly took me longer to get terrored. Okay, here's the the timing of this. First stop. Fuck, what is it called? Pacifying Agent. Pop that. Next up. Alco Sugar. Pop that. Third thing. Divine Confetti. Pop that. Oh shit, that looks cool. Come on, fuck. Did he already... Did he already... Yes! This is it. He's taking damage. Yes, he's taking damage. Holy shit. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Idiot. Pacifying agent. Keep clear it. Come on. It's nearly dead. I'm gonna I'm gonna pop another one. It wore off. Oh shit, he's gonna hit me, isn't he? I'm not gonna be able to buff in time. Uh I nearly had him in one go. Fuck you. Alright, Divine Confetti is the key. Akko Spirit Fall. Fallen Headless Spirit of Akko that increases vitality and posture damage for a time. Consume spirit emblems to use repeatedly. Headless are the ruined form of corrupted heroes. Okay, I'm actually recording. Just looked over to see. Who once fought for their country. Seize the power of an inhuman spirit by laying it to rest, but risk going quite mad unless something is offered in return. Holy shit, that looks cool. I'm glad that buffs are badass looking in this game. All right. The question is. <laughs> I love that. Man, that looks so badass. Kind of a shame that I couldn't kill him in one go. Uh, it would have been more cost efficient. But hey. My question is. Oh, don't tell me. Shinobi escape route leads to Demon Bell. I thought it was going to lead back to, you know, where. You know, back to the shrine. Excuse me? Okay. Let's see if it works on regular enemies as well. These dudes are bitches anyways. But who knows. Black gunpowder. I think you're meant to do this a little bit earlier. Because he was insanely easy. Oh. We're in Sempu Temple. I remember this place. You gotta come here earlier, don't you? There's a thing here as well. Sculptor's Idol found. What do we do with this? Do not ring this bell. Inviting misfortune is an act of virtue, but only the stardust of hearts should ever consider it. I have heard of this. I, this I know. I don't know where I read it, but consider it a spoiler or not. But people have said that there is a, what you call it, basically like a champion's covenant in this game. And I'm pretty sure this is it. And that is something I am not going to do <laughs> No Champions Covenant for the boy, at least not yet. Subsequent playthroughs, sure, excuse me. Oh yeah, you're a moron and you can like be backstabbed by... Cool. Little Valdos does not open from this side, so there's another way to get here. Apparently. 
Uh, okay. Yeah, so no Champion's Covenant for me. I guess it makes sense you beat a super difficult boss. Because I think early on, Headless would have been even more of a nightmare. So you get like a little reward of... while well, making your game even harder. But apparently it also gives you like more items and shit. Okay, one other thing I wanted to test out. Well, first of all, I want to see if any of these schmucks sell Divine Confetti. Because I'm thinking that's not going to be the only enemy that has this mechanic. It can't be. He didn't even give a... What you call it? A prayer bead. No, he doesn't. He doesn't sell it. Still have two dragon rot things. Don't need to buy some. Yeah, this is what I wanted to check out. We can kill this guy now, can't we? Yeah. Uh, but will I not be able to do his tutorials? Do we, do we even need his tutorials? Uh, not really. Yeah, because I'm the ultimate badass here. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. As soon as I remembered uh, this guy. Yeah, let's put him out of his misery. We've killed him plenty of times. Because I kind of feel sorry for him. Sekijo? That's the wrong name. Sorry, buddy, but maybe you didn't get it. Next time you see me, I'll be ready. Cool. I think we gotta do a rest, don't we? Yeah, again, that's what I was wondering, because as soon as... I figured out the stuff with the moral blade about killing the undead. I all I immediately thought of this guy. That he wants to die. Let's do it. Maybe I'm ending some quest line, but I don't know. Whatever. I'm not gonna do all the quest lines, obviously. Plus I think this is gonna be a cool animation. Do it. He's not using the Moron Blade. Oh! Oh, he had that inside him. That's cool. Farewell indeed. So anybody who has that weird centipede thing is immortal. Um. Excuse me, game. Oh. Are you fucking kidding? Hello? God damn it. Alright, another rest, because apparently the item is glitched. Please fix this game. Yes? You have got to be shitting me. This game is shitting me, as we've mentioned before. Alright, this, this has to be it. Please fix it. Please, please, please. Activision, I'm gonna sue you. If I can't get this item. It's the first quit and reload I had to do in this game. That's one of the best mechanics they've gotten rid of. The... Like, for something to happen, you gotta quit and reload. It was the stupidest mechanic. This doesn't work. Oh, maybe I, I saw something for a fraction of a second. I cannot believe this. I killed this dude and I cannot pick up the item. That better not be something like very useful. Uh, Cause what the fuck? This game is stoned right now. Alright, we're gonna continue in the Sunken Valley. I, I will come back here later. I'm not giving up on this item. 
uh yeah that's really strange that's the first i think like sort of glitch i've encountered unless there is something i'm not doing correctly but i don't think so i, I think that's just a straight up glitch gremlin fuck i'm full of avgn references i don't know why probably because i was watching his stuff okay thank you game i was like please grapple do some spider-man shit All right. Why is this? I'm gonna be on their asses so quickly. They're not even gonna be able to react. I wonder if can, you can do this without getting caught. I don't think you can. Ouch. blasted pretty much uh, that was a drive-by I swear guns in a knife fight how is this fair it ain't fair is it okay let's chill out here a little bit I say as I immediately move forward I don't think so, bitch. What? <laughs> okay, that was... Keep doing some Spider-Man shit here. Fuck, you guys have terrible aim. Oh, ledge PvP. Oh, he can actually kick me off. Okay, <laughs> that was absolutely no point to that. I pretty much just lost HP. But the fact that I saw... That animation was worth it. By that animation, I mean the ladder or latch PvP. Okay, you're a moron. Am I not getting HP back from these criticals? Yes, I am. Sometimes it's just difficult to notice. I was worried. Thought I'm getting ripped off. Okay, this might be it. Yes! Holy shit. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. That is pretty awesome. I am not going to lie. Oh, secret path? Could be a secret path. Or it could be absolutely jack shit. Nah, I'm fairly sure this is a secret path. This is the back entrance for sure. How the hell did you notice me? This guy didn't notice me. Oh, yes, he is, but he's weird. Lots of weird stuff happening. I just got a shotgun to the face. Yeah, they have poison on that attack. Not poison, but poise. Stay stealthy. Oh, god damn it. That's cheating. Straight up cheating. Not gonna lie. Fairly clever tactic. Ouch. Do you guys not need to reload? Okay, I'm gonna pellet this bitch up. I want to uh, Mikiri that, but I always interrupt it. And so, hey, it doesn't matter really. Okay. Speaking of stealth, it's so cool. 
Okay, he's gonna notice me if I go from that direction. So I think... Please come into range. Oh, you're an absolute moron. Well, that's very, very convenient. How am I going to do this without being spotted? Gaijin sugar, I think. Unless you just got to fight those dudes, but I don't think so. Alright, where is my Gaijin sugar? Never mind that. Just... Oh, he patrols. You know what? I have an idea. Why? What the? I was trying to do the ninjutsu. It's all good. One of these dudes I can kill. See, they do reload. Just not always. Nice. One thing I'm very surprised about is this this game actually depicts shotguns correctly because that's what people always say that you know video games show shotguns like you're more than five meters from your enemy it's not gonna do any damage but in reality shotguns do work at a distance sure there's gonna be a little bit more spread but it still like absolutely destroys anyone all right so in reality i think I think I'm gonna wrap this episode up. I don't know why I said in reality. It's just something that fell out of my mouth. Come for it. Okay, well, this was an adventurous episode. We swung around like Spider-Man. We stabbed some gun guys. This is like the least souls that souls has ever felt. You know, like swinging through cliffs, killing gun-wielding enemies. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Sekiro. And I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.